lovely human beings. This is Denisa and I'm actually recording at this moment from Athens. However, what you see there, right there, is the flag of uh, Cyprus. Of course, along with the Greek flag, which you might see a little bit uh, at the back, close to it. The reason why we see this flag, it is because today the whole Greece is actually commemorating the invasion of uh, Cyprus in 1974. It, is, it was exactly on this uh, day, 50 years ago, when Turkey landed in uh, Cyprus. I will not spend too much time on the historical events. I'll just say uh, that it was uh, a very, and it is a very painful uh, situation in uh, um, the history of Greece. It is related to a lot of things that happened prior to the invasion. Uh, it is related to the Greek junta or uh, the Greek dictatorship, however you might uh, call it. What I want to tell you is the, is the following. Um, as you can see, 50 years later, this is still a very important uh, thing for the whole Greece. They are commemorating it, they'll have a lot of events in which the Prime Minister of Greece is um, involved. They will, um, they already had some uh, ceremonies, some uh, commemorations in, uh, uh, in uh, Cyprus. Uh, why I wanted to point this out, it is because um, I think that's very important to show. 50 years later, you see the, a lot of uh, people on Facebook saying, then say no, which means I don't forget. And I think that it is really nice to, to see, to observe how, uh, let's say, a kind of nationalism, it's still part of the Greek society. And don't get mad at the word nationalism because I don't imply it in a pejorative way. I don't mean it in a bad way, but I just mean in the sense that the Greeks do fight for what they consider their brothers, their uh, uh, soulmates to say, uh, because Cyprus is very close to Greece. They consider the, uh, them uh, Greeks. They call them Greek um, Cypriots. Um, you'll see that uh, not only with regards to this event, but also to the fall of uh, Constantinople, first of all, that they don't accept the word Istanbul. They still use the word uh, Constantinople and um, they call that um, the capture of Constantinople and that day it's also a day of commemoration in, uh, in Greece. Um, I think that uh, this is nice to observe and again I want to point out that I'm not here to blame and I don't think that this is something bad or I'm not uh, uh, here to teach you to tell you that this is what you should do. I'm just here to observe and to show you that uh, Greek people are really very proud and very keen to fight for their country, to fight for their borders. The Macedonia issue was, or the Macedonian question was for them a huge moment in uh, history, despite that the, fa the fact that uh, the country, the north, is called now Northern Macedonia, which um, some people say that at some point could be reunited with what is the uh, southern part and eventually become uh, part of a greater uh, Greece. At that moment, nobody was happy or almost nobody was happy with the uh, resolution of having that um, uh, state named uh, Northern uh, Macedonia. Um, by the way, you probably saw at the back that I am here in the public square of uh, Syntagma. I will also call you what is, oh, I will also show you, sorry, 
what is called the uh, soliades. Um, they are actually soldiers uh, which are uh, here in front of the Greek um, parliament. Um, so, coming back to the ceremony, the, to the commemoration of the invasion in um, Cyprus, I think that what we should learn from this is that um, no matter what's happening around, no matter how much we strive to show that we are all part of the same family, that we are all, uh, uh, you know, in this international family, that we uh, don't have border, that we live in a borderless state and so on and so forth, these people are fighting with all means and by all options for what they consider to be their own. And uh, as you know, I like to draw some uh, kind of conclusions of things that we can learn from each and every event. And I think that this one is a good opportunity to, to draw the line and say that no matter what's happening around, no matter um, what are that what other people think if you believe in something if you believe that's right if you believe that it belongs to you it's worth fighting for it uh, even 50 years later because for the greeks 50 years later they are still crying with the same tears for the invasion of uh, uh, cyprus 50 years later they say then think no i don't forget and they indeed don't forget uh, now that we're uh, saying about this also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to comment to tell me your opinions i can take bad comments that's totally fine um, also uh, since i'm here let me tell you that uh, um, it's uh, obviously hot it's summer i didn't expect to have uh, snow um, so um, if you are in vacation uh, in Greece or if you plan don't plan to go to visit places because it's really too hot for that don't use the summer uh, season for uh, visiting historical areas they are mainly outside and uh, if you for example if you want to go to see the Acropolis you will have to stay in the sun which is something that I definitely do not uh, recommend here at the back you can see the guards taking uh, care of the uh, parliament okay so also with regards to your um, vacation uh, I would recommend to try uh, if especially if you come to Athens I would recommend to try some uh, uh, Greek souvlaki I made a small research the price would be around 350 and that's kind of junk food greek traditional junk food that could consist of a meal so if you are on a budget that's definitely that you should try you should try it anyway but it's also good because it's on the go and if you want to walk around and to see many places that's also an option uh sorry for the for the noise as i said i'm uh, outside in uh, syntagma square um uh, thanks for um, for following, thanks for watching. As I said, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, and uh, of course, uh, this hat is for the sun, but I also use it to say chapeau for, uh, uh, or hats off for uh, Greeks fighting for their interests, for what they believe that uh, belongs to them. And... Uh, also to obviously you know observe that greeks indeed speak up and they do speak up by all means no matter what no matter the circumstances they speak up i recommend you to do the same speak up and don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks see you soon people